This is going to be a video tutorial on how to create a vertical button group using HTML and CSS. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. This right here is what I'll be creating, a vertical button group. It's got the hover effect. And I'll show you how to connect the button to a website. If I click on that one, it takes me to google.com. Let me jump over to my desktop here. Okay, I'm on my desktop now. I'm going to create a folder here on my desktop. I'm going to right click, go down to new, over to folder, and I'm just going to name this folder test. Hit enter. Now I'm going to double click on this folder to go inside of it. And inside of this folder, I'm going to create another folder called CSS. I'm going to right click, go down to new, up to folder. I'm just going to name it CSS, all lowercase. I'm going to hit enter. Now I'm going to jump over to VS Code. Okay, I've got VS Code opened up here, and I'm going to locate that folder that I just created. I'm going to go up to File, down to Open Folder. Now I'm going to search for that uh, folder that I just created. I named it Test. It's right here. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to click on Select Folder. To open it. Now I have that folder opened in VS Code. Now I'm going to create my HTML and CSS files. I'm going to go up to File, down to New File. Now I'm going to save this as an HTML file. I'm going to go up to File, down to Save As, and I'm just going to title it index.html. And I'm going to click on Save. Now I'm going to create my HTML boilerplate. I'm going to hit a exclamation point, And then you can click on either the wrench or hit tab either way. The top wrench. There's my HTML boilerplate. Now I'm going to create my CSS file. I'm going to go up to File, down to New File. Now I'm going to go back up to File and save this as a CSS file. File, Save As. The first thing I'm going to do though, I'm going to double click on this CSS folder because I want to go inside of that CSS folder. Now I'm inside of that CSS folder. I'm going to name my uh, CSS file style.css. Then I'm going to click on Save. Now if I look at my folder that I created, the test folder, I have an index file, HTML file, and then if I double click on my CSS folder, I, there's my style.css file. So everything's looking good there. Now I'm going to connect my HTML and CSS files. I'm going to click on my HTML file here. I'm going to put my cursor right above the title tags at the end of this line, right above the title tags. I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to type link. Then I'm going to click on the wrench that says link colon CSS. Now the only thing I need to do is I need to tell the browser where to find this style.css file. I'm going to click right in front of the S on style. I'm going to the name of my folder is CSS, then I'll do a forward slash, and then the name of my CSS file. Everything is case sensitive, and to make sure that I have done this right, I'm going to put my cursor over the style.css, and I'm going to click on that follow link, and it will take me to my CSS file. Yep, everything's looking good. I'm going to go up to file, and I'm going to click on save all. Now the first thing I'm going to do, it's not necessary for you to do, but I'm going to close my little sidebar over here to, to give myself a little bit more room. I'm going to click on this top tab up here called Explorer. I'm going to click on that to close it. Now I'm going to jump over to my index file, my index.html file. And in my body, I'm going to create an H1 tag right below the opening body tag. And I'm going to write, this is a vertical button group. Now 
Now I'm going to put my cursor at the end of the closing H1 tag and I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to create a div. Now I'm going to hit enter to separate my opening and closing div tags and I'm going to go inside of that uh, opening div tag right after the V, put my cursor in there, I'm going to make a space and I'm going to give this a class. Class equals double quotations and in between those double quotations I'm going to call this class button group. Button dash group. Now I'm going to put my cursor outside of that opening div tag. I'm going to hit enter to go down to the next line and I'm going to create some buttons. And I'm just going to copy and paste this these button tags copy. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to paste it here. I'm going to hit enter, paste another one. I'm going to hit enter, paste another one. You can make as many buttons as, as what you would like. I'm going to call this first button home. The second button I'm going to call gallery. You can call them anything. The third one I'm going to call contact. And the fourth one I'm going to call help. Now I'm going to save this. I'm going to go up to file, down to save. Now I'm going to go to my folder and I'm going to double click on that HTML file to open it in my browser and that's what I have so far. I have four buttons but this is what I'm shooting for right here. This will be done in CSS. Let me jump back over to Visual Studio Code here. Okay, now I'm going to jump over to my CSS file. I'm going to click on the style.css to open it. And I'm going to start off by calling the button group class. I'm going to put a period, button dash group. And I'm also going to call the button itself. I'm going to make a space. I'm going to do my curly brackets. I'm going to hit enter to separate my curly brackets and I'm going to give this a background color of blue. Background color and I'm going to make it blue. I'm going to put my cursor after the semicolon. I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to give this a black border of two pixels. I'm going to do border, colon, space, two pixels, space, solid, space, black, semicolon. I'm going to hit enter. Because this is a dark shaded uh, button color, I'm going to make my text white. I'm going to go color, colon, white, semicolon. Now, I'm going to go down another line here. I'm going to give my text about 12 pixels of padding. I'm going to do padding, colon, 12 pixels, semicolon. I want the cursor to change to a, a hand. When the uh, cursor moves over the button, I want it to change to a hand. So I'm going to go down to the next line, and I'm going to do cursor, colon, pointer, semicolon. I'm going to give this uh, button a width of 25%. You can do whatever width you'd like, but I'm going to give it 25% width, width, colon, 25%, semicolon. I want this to display block, display, colon, block, semicolon, now I'm going to put my cursor at the end of this last curly bracket. I'm going to hit enter twice and I'm going to create a hover. I'm going to call my button class button dash group and I'm going to call the button itself colon hover button colon hover now I'm going to make my curly brackets. 
I'm going to hit enter to separate the curly brackets. When the uh, mouse cursor moves over the button, I want it to change colors. I'm going to give it a background color of red. Background color red. Now let's see what we have so far. I'm going to go up to file, down to save all. I'm going to jump back over to my web page here. I'm going to hit refresh. And there we go, our button group there. I'm going to create a little bit of separation between these buttons. And the way to do that, I'm going to go back over to VS Code. And I'm going to go down to this last, last one here. I'm going to hit Enter. And I'm going to give it a margin top of, I'll say, 8, pix eight pixels. Margin dash top, 8 pixels. I'm going to go up to Save file and down to save. I'm going to jump back over to my web page. I'm going to hit refresh and there we go a little bit of margin between the buttons. You can make the margin between the buttons anything you'd like. You can make the button width any size you like. And let's say I wanted to connect this uh, one of these buttons to a website. I'm going to go back over to my HTML file and the way to do this is pretty simple. Say I wanted to connect this home button to a, a website. I'll connect it to google.com. The way I'll do that, inside the opening button tag, I'm going to put my cursor right after the end. I'm going to do a space, and I'm going to type on click. This is a little bit of JavaScript here. Equals, double quotations. And inside of those double quotations, I'm going to type location.href. Then I want to do equals and then a pair of single quotations. Make sure there's two single quotations. And between that uh, last single quotation and the double quotation, you want to make a semi semicolon. I'm going to go between the two single quotations here, and that's where you want to add the website that you want to link it to. And for the sake of this video, I'm just going to link it to google.com. I'm going to paste in the web address of google.com. I'm going to go up to File, down to Save. Then I'm going to jump back over to my web page. I'm going to hit Refresh, and then I'm going to click on this Home button, and it'll take me to google.com. There's google.com. I'll click the back arrow to go back to it. But that is how you make a vertical button group using HTML and CSS. Thanks for watching.